What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, today, we're going to check out some more Vince Gill, just because I've been, you know, I want to do some more guitar, okay? And Vince Gill, when he was with Carrie Underwood singing, performing, perhaps the best rendition of Be Still My Soul, jeez. Unbelievable. Or the way Go Rest High on That Mountain has made me cry. Thanks to folks like, you know, David Orman, if you're watching, thank you for leading me to Vince Gill. And we've had several other people request we check him out, like uh, Case, and, and Case has sent us a donation for to check out more Vince Gill in the past. Stu, good friend of the channel, Stu Hornsby. Larry, I said be still my soul, how great thou art, idiot. Shout out to JR. But today we're checking out thanks to K, uh, Vince uh, Gill Killer Guitar, the one from 10 years ago. You might be the first reaction to it, and it is worth checking out. Okay, let's do this. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. What's your favorite Vince Gill song, performance? Why are you here? Well, anyway, let's check this out. Um, as you all know, with uh, copyrights and things as such, once in a while, I might have to cut it off and pause it. I might pause it at the wrong moment, but hey, that's the name of the game. To all of you who, are, who have supported the channel, shared your passions with us, thank you so much. Check out the description down below to find ways to help us out. Uh, great voice, great songwriter, and I a killer seen guitar him player, because anybody who knows guitar playing knows the fact that you can really play this thing. Also, you're up for a Grammy for Instrumental of the Year, mm -hmm. A Soldier's Joy. Yeah, with my buddy Randy Scruggs. There you go. Very cool. One story, Dire Straits, player, huh? Mark Knopfler, a great guitar player. The legend is they tried to recruit you for Dire Straits. Yeah, Mark, uh, in 1989, came to actually to New York City. We were a friend of mine, Greg Deverna, who lives here, was sitting down recounting the story. He says, if it wasn't, if I'm not mistaken, 10 years ago, I think he came to see you. We played at the, uh, the, uh, the that, Lone that, Star, okay. the Lone Star, and uh, Mark came to see us. And Amazing, he came dude. and said, do you have any interest in being in dire straits and I said oh my gosh yeah I would love to be but I just signed a new contract with MCA records and I kind of struggled for you know six or seven years trying to get some songs on the radio and wasn't very successful and I, I just really believed in this new union and the record I just made and I didn't know if anything was going to happen but you know I, I turned down a a pretty good deal, you know, <laughs> just to kind of take this a shot, so and then cool. it turned out to be, you know, I, I had I no idea loved this was this, this to have done it. You know, musically, I, I really admire him so so much, and but uh, as a career move, I finally made one right. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, okay. First off, can we just say, learning of Dire Straits through this channel and Mark Knopfler, I again, I feel like a was well, not just that I feel I am like a poser guitarist. I didn't know about Dire Straits until we started doing this channel, like this year. Let's go back to the guy. phones. This is a gentleman whose name is Chet. He's from Nashville. Hello, Chet. Hi. What's your last name, Chet? Uh, Atkins. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Vance. He just... <laughs> We've checked, we've checked, we've checked doing, him out Chester? on the channel before, too. Pretty good, Vance. I wondered if you could play golf next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Okay. <laughs> you better bundle up, though, son. Well, I'm not, but uh, I'll be thinking about you. Uh, man, it's great to talk to you. And uh, you How you feeling? Do you still do that tune, uh, Oklahoma Borderline? Yes, sir. I heard you do that once. I think it was a live uh, uh, recording or something and uh, with an audience, and I was amazed at your great guitar playing and I still am every time I hear you and I, I worked with you a couple either. times recently where you played mandolin to you and you're not bad on that. Thanks buddy. He can play oh, Chet Atkins. Man. Would you play it? Yeah, thanks for calling Chet. Okay, so this is like a request from Chet Atkins. That's so cool, dude. Alright, here we go. This my guitar hero. I remember the first time I sat down with Chet um, was a few years ago. I did a show in Nashville with Ralph Emery and it was kind of a documentary on my life and stuff and and Chet came out and it was the first time I'd ever had the opportunity to play music with my definite guitar hero of all time and I remember he started playing and he said come on play and my hands would not go on the guitar <laughs> and uh, I revere him so much so Chet I'm gonna play his, play my heart out for you buddy I got a boat to my heel Baby put me on the stage and says I'm through with you She 
thinks I'm gonna miss her Come on, tell her that she's wrong I'm going back to work love for my boys Cause that's where I belong I need a one good ride this She said it's down. right Come on, Oklahoma, hold the line If we roll out night She be coming in the sight Come on, Oklahoma, hold the line I don't need no Texas girl to dog in me around Son, but I step into town Those Oklahoma City girls They always treat you right Tell mama and them I'm coming home Leaving out tonight I need a one good ride Be satisfied Come on Oklahoma Pull the line If we roll all night She'll be coming inside Come on Oklahoma Pull the line Come on Jeffrey Okay we're gonna, we're gonna get a little solo here this song and performance is amazing for it being live. This is awesome just seeing Vince Gill young. Like, he's been masterful since all his days. What a likable person, too, eh? What I love, and again, my dream came true. One of you, and you know who you are, gifted me that Telecaster back there. I still, like, get emotional when I play it. He exemplifies the sound you want from a Telecaster so well. That twang in there with that single coil, it is... Just remarkable, right? And I love that. Album. Ever since we checked out The Devil Went Down to Georgia for my first time. Dude, what a gangster instrument. So two bucks in my pocket and my thumb stuck in the wind. When I cross Red River Falls, I won't be back again. Give me old back roads and truck stops. 18 wheels of wine, some good old boat to take me to that Oklahoma line. I need a one good ride, be satisfied. Come on, Oklahoma, boat a line. And if we roll all night, she'll be coming in the sight. Come on, Oklahoma, boat a line. Let me roll all night, she's oh, coming great. in the sight. I just want to get skill solos here. Oklahoma, boat a line. Give it to me, please. Oh. Oh. Try to figure just like you talk to Chester. What is that? See what I mean? Sorry, we're replaying, we're, we're, we're rewinding that. He plays at the speed that you play like a banjo, but it's the electric guitar, and it actually is so hard, and he doesn't miss a note. But uh, the the effects there, dude, that sounded like a completely different instrument. Like, again, talk about the twang on the, on the telecast. There it goes.
And his for everything about this skill is phenomenal, by the way. Good person, good looking, great voice, great guitar. Parents like, give him that standing ovation, bro. My gosh. One of my favorite things to show on the channel when we like check out something especially beautiful is when I get the the uh like the chills and I I'm getting it here with like a guitar solo like this. So satisfying. I have never seen someone truly exemplify the sound of the Telecaster especially in country like that. Unbelievable. Did not know he was being pursued for Dire Straits. Um that's one of the coolest things <laughs> I've seen in a minute, man. Oof. When I was told that, uh, okay, his uh, How Great Thou Art solo, it's so different using the top pickup and that beautiful melodic, again, that, a solo that brought me to tears, to be honest. Here we get to see the talent and the entertainment, just captivated by talent. Yeah, man. Oh, man, that was cool. That was, that was cool. I love it. What's your favorite Vince Gill song? Your favorite Vince Gill performance? Let me know, but wow. To all of you who are hanging out here, I hope you're inspired and had fun here that you're now energized to tackle the things you have to go tackle. I, I know I do. Um, to all of you who have also supported and helped out the channel, thank you. Thank you so much from my, the bottom of my heart, especially me and my family. Thank you. This is, I feel like the luckiest person in the world where I can just connect with people by experiencing incredible music for my first time. Like it's just, Ah oh, man, I'm the luckiest person in the world. Vid scale, man. What a jerk. So good.